Hey guys, today Conley Woods' employer, Dia Wolf, who he was helping create a game, released this statement. I applaud them for this statement. The team at Dia Wolf believes in consent and equality. We were shocked and saddened by this week's news involving Conley Woods and wish to express our unconditional support for his alleged victim. We found out about this situation on Tuesday afternoon when we hadn't heard from him in a couple days. While we don't know more than has been reported, the details that have emerged thus far are antithetical to the concept of consent regardless of intent. We have terminated our working relationship with Mr. Woods effective immediately and have no further comment. This is a small business. One of their employees is not, it's not good, but this is the way to handle it. A lot of you who support people like Conley, like Aaron, like Owen, are too afraid to take a stand. You want to wait for more information. You want to wait for more information and more information. You want to wait for a guilty verdict before you say, oh yeah, we should accuse them. There are far more chickens than there are wolves. The ecosystem is designed that way. For every one apex predator, like a lion, you need a thousand antelope, maybe, maybe 10,000 antelope. Do not be an antelope. Do not be a sheep. This is the, exactly the way a business handles. Wizard of Coast has not handled it correctly. Kotaku published an article last night. It is going viral. A lot of you have accused me of saying things. and The damage I could do to Conley is nothing compared to the damage Kotaku can do. And they've already done. They've linked... And surprisingly, they linked Conley Woods with Magic the Gathering. They didn't even mention Dire Wolf or the game that he was creating and had been working on for many years. You gotta draw a line in the sand. Because if you say cheating's okay, if you say despicable behavior against females is okay, more and more people do it. And cheating, for instance, I'm going to make an intensive video explaining that from now on, we should not talk about cheating. We should just talk about mistakes. Did the mistake benefit you? If it did, here's a game loss. The cheating thing is very easy to manipulate. It's based on intent. If the judge likes you, he can say, oh, I didn't think you cheated. You made a mistake. But why should we not punish mistakes? Mistakes are punished every single day in everyone, in almost any other field. If you make a mistake in a professional sport, there is a price to pay. And sometimes that price is paid in media blood. But back to Conley Woods. This is, I've read, so he designed this game for them. If anything, they should support Conley more than Magic the Gathering. But they understand, as does the company, this is bad. And before you say there's no evidence, there's no proof. The problem with this type of crime is exactly people who want every little evidence. They want semen spread all over it's hard to prove this, right? It's hard to prove. But one of the things that we do have is a recorded phone call. that, And we have a very detailed description from either the victim or Conley himself. I don't know why he would do that. But Conley himself of what happened. And that's not enough. That's not enough for anybody. We need more. We need... We need the bed sheet. We need the underwear. We need all. We need a videotape of this happening. Kotaku, as much as you might hate it, once it's on Kotaku, like Owen, there is no coming back. 
Unsleeve Meteor was banned for life because of Kotaku, I believe. If Kotaku didn't blow up the issue, how would he be, be banned? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. He just memed a little bit, and there were people like Alex who cheat thousands of times, and only after the third time he gets caught, not even the third time he got caught, he has got caught dozens of times, and people still like him. Conley Woods has been arrested. He was arrested. Conley Woods is deleting all his social media. Does that remind you of somebody who's innocent like Owen? I mean, that's exactly what I would do. Start deleting stuff. <laughs> uh, luckily, I uh, screenshotted some of the more, uh, more aggressive tweets to women, let's say that. And I have them on my Facebook. Look, the reasonable way to handle what's going on when your favorite Magic player has done something bad is exactly what Dia Wolf and its Reddit for. They're not grabbing pitchforks. They're not trying to crucify Conley. They're just saying this is bad. On the bright side, the Kotaku article does not mention Dia Wolf or Eternal, which is the game he works on at all. Rather, chooses to focus on his Magic achievements. I wonder why that is Wizard of the Coast. Yes, you're bigger, but you're also the source of so many of these news stories. Owen just... Owen just happened. People don't remember how recent it is because they've already forgotten. It's kind of like it's kind of like a new set. So Core 2020, we got the whole Conley Woods. And then... War of the Sparks, we had Owen. So yeah, basically every new set, we get a new Predator. So yeah, that's great. Fantastic Wizard of the Coast. Former Magic Gathering Pro arrested on sexual assault charges. There is no... That's the title of the article. Now, you can nitpick and you can say, here's how the law works, okay? I didn't want to educate you because so many of you guys are internet experts and know so much more than me. I'll take the O.J. Simpson case. A lot of you are saying that he is not criminally guilty. There's not enough evidence at this moment for a criminal for him to go to jail. There's also civil guilt. And then there is the lowest bar, which is probable or not. Probability. Which is what it takes to arrest somebody. The police have to reasonably think that something bad is going on. Now, at the criminal level, you're taking away someone's freedom. I'm not doing that to Conley Woods. I'm not a judge. I'm not, I do not owe Conley that bar of proof. That's going to jail. OJ did not go to jail, but you know what? He lost his Heisman Trophy. He lost his home. He lost his money. He lost a lot. He lost so much that then eventually he did cr- commit crime to go to jail. Just because OJ didn't go to jail does not mean OJ is innocent. He lost bloody bad in the civil case afterwards. And just because, maybe even if you win the civil case, right, which is a different bar that you need to pass, you can view them as different levels. The, at the highest level is we take your right to freedom. That's a very high level. A lot of proof has to be established. At the next bar, which is much lower, is we take your right to damages. So the rape victim can sue for damages. By um, psychology or whatever the damages may be. There are damage, emotional, and it's happened. It's, It's happened before. This is not unique in this type of case. So that's a bar that's way down lower because instead of taking your freedom, we're taking your money. It's still important, but it's at least it's not going to jail for life. Then at a bar even lower is when the police have to take you in. And at that point, news people can report on it. But a bar even lower than that, like way down there, is what the media needs to report. Look at Trump. Um... He's been accused of everything under the sun. And people are like, oh, there's a lot of evidence. So it's so weird, right? I mean, you guys will probably say that Trump is guilty of this and guilty of that, uh, guilty of evasion and tax and stuff. But isn't that what you're doing? Like, 
it doesn't make any sense how you can be so 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 biased like i'm trying to understand this the news reports on trump all the blanking time on quote quote impeachment he's still not been impeached msnbc has a video on his impeachment since he was elected based on lots of track uh, lots of proof what's her name the um the msnbc host has had her you know her selling point is i have his tax records and every few months she says she has his tax records or his tax filings and she never does what was her name rachel something and i'm just like watching them like oh yeah we're interesting oh yeah in the beginning i was like oh wow they got a lot of evidence what why has no one published it is everyone so afraid or like what's the what's wrong with you like my gosh but that's news to the same people who support this to our president and yes he is our president even if you didn't vote for him that's how america works guys or the same people who are like there's not enough evidence for conley or owen come on they're innocent dudes you gotta be blanking kidding me like it does not make any sense and then they say, oh, you don't need to watch this video, right? You can watch CNN or MSNBC, whatever you want to watch, go for it. Just don't get on my blanking channel and not understand. Innocent until proven guilty, right? You're innocent until proven guilty. That phrase was constructed for the criminal level, the criminal level. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs>